You're in a competition. The timer is running. There's all sorts of dimensions you got to think about. Consequences for every move and different strengths and weaknesses of every single piece. What are we talking about? We're talking about chessboard thinking. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to part five of six of this Leadership principle series. I call it chessboard thinking, otherwise a strategic mindset. Business is like this. Business is like chessboard thinking, strategic thought. In fact, I hear over and over from key business leaders saying, I'm playing chess, not checkers. What does that mean and why is that important as a leadership principle? Well, ultimately, here's the reality. Business requires multidimensional thinking and a solid sound psyche to make these decisions. Because some of these decisions are defense, some of them are offense. Some of them have to do with placing things certain ways in different places and people are trying to wonder why. But the reality is you have to think in a strategic manner. That's a key business mindset principle strategic thinking. And like in a chess competition, the timer's running, okay? The timer's running. You just can't sit there and wait for things to happen because sitting there and waiting for things to happen is a decision to sit there. It's a decision in and of itself to let the timer run. And sometimes that's right. Sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes people don't make decisions because they want to see what happens or they're just afraid to. You have to think strategically. So, this, like these other principles, is vague and obscure, okay? But the principles that leaders fully understand. So you have to dig into these things and you have to understand. We've talked about a lot of really kind of kind of foo-foo, kind of squishy ideas out there, but ultimately what you have to think about as a leader is thinking. Thinking. And, you know, thinking is about understanding. It's about asking questions. We have emotional thinking. We talked about emotional intelligence. We talked about emotional maturity. We have mindset, the can-do attitude. We have values. All of these things play together to help you into this strategic thinking position. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. We hear the words tactics and strategy. Both are kind of thinking. Tactics is more doing than thinking. Strategy is more thinking than doing. So really what happens is you have to calculate, you have to understand, you have to ask questions, you have to gather information and understand what are your resources, what are your people, what are their weaknesses, where do they need coaching to talk about yesterday's talk. And how do we take that strategy of where we want to get to and employ those tactics of the actions based upon our choice management, and our emotional intelligence. In other words, what do you want to accomplish? What do you want to accomplish? And how will you accomplish those things given the resources that you have? That's the thought for today. We've got this multidimensional, multi-weighted, multi-strength, multi-weakness chessboard. We're playing chess. We're not playing checkers. All the pieces weigh the same, mostly. And you can only move a couple different directions. Chess is a little bit different. So in your business, that's why I want to say to you today, play chess. Play chess. Have a strategic mindset, a chessboard mindset. Take a step back, but know the timer's running. That's what I got for you. Love you guys. Thanks for all you do. Be safe. We Be well. Be strong. And I'll see you tomorrow for the last in this series. Have a good one.